Are you automating your drum fills like this? If not, you should be, because riding faders is sexy. Stay tuned, Kush After Hours. Welcome to After Hours. My name is Gregory Scott. Tonight we're going to be talking about automation, and specifically I want to get into using automation in ways to enhance your arrangement and your dynamics. I'm a drummer, so one of the most common things that's happening for me at the end of a section or sometimes in the middle of a section is a drum fill. And if you don't have live drums in your arrangement, it doesn't really matter because fills are fills. Every instrument can and I think ought to be doing fills. So whether you've got drums at the end of a section, or you've got a guitar, it's a just it doesn't matter what you got going on, whatever your fills are. At the end of a section, when you're transitioning into a new section or when you're in the middle of something and you got something doing a fill like that, ride that fill up. Uh, it doesn't mean riding up the whole drum bus, for instance. It could mean just the overheads get pushed up. Don't be afraid to push this quite aggressively, especially if you're pushing into a compressor, which is one of my favorite tricks, to automate something like the overheads or everything, overheads and the kick and the snare and whatever else you got going on and push that into the compressor so that you're not just making things louder, you're making them denser. The drums get thicker and the cymbals and everything gets a little bit more distorted and edgy. And that's like, that's oftentimes exactly what a transition or a fill needs to give it that extra bit of drama and urgency. And then if you find that the compressor is pushing back too hard against what you're doing, don't push quite so hard into the compressor and then jump on over to the drum bus and push the whole drum bus a little bit as well and do what you need to do to give give the song that kind of urgency and energy that it needs in that moment. And then if you find that doing so kind of swamps out something else, I urge you again to not pull back on what you've done there, but to instead be more aggressive with the other things that are getting lost. A lot of times riding up the bass in these moments can be really effective, even just a half a dB or a dB following the same or a similar envelope to what you're pushing with the drums or your synth or the guitars or whatever else is doing the fills here. Uh, because people don't often notice or hear the, the bass being pushed like that, but they will most certainly feel it. And if you're mixing into a mix bus compressor, which you probably are and probably should be, you will find that that again increases the density and the reactivity and the movement and the wiggle and flicker of the whole mix which adds yet more of the kinds of drama that you're probably going for musically there so these are the kinds of tricks that we do as engineers to make the recorded tracks uh, reflect and reinforce the kinds of, of drama and impact that the music itself is trying to state and we just give it a little bit of help here and there to shine the spotlight where we want it and create an increase of the kinds of textures that Get the listener right here. Please hit us up in the comments below. Leave your feedback. Give us some likes. Do what you do. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Gregory Scott. This has been Kush After Hours. Till next time.